Okay, the video that I'm uh, least receptive to making is about uh, cleaning your reflex mirror because it's not like a regular mirror. I mean, it's not like you can whip out the Windex and clean it like a regular mirror. It's insanely sensitive. There's only one way to do it, and I'm going to warn you before I show you this, and this is why I've not made this video until now, is that if you do this wrong, you apply too much pressure, you'll scratch your reflex mirror, okay? Your reflex mirror does not affect your image. So if you endeavor to do this, you take it upon your own hands. But this is why I actually save my sensor cleaning swabs. Now these come in sterile packages, which I use to clean my sensors, like these little sterile packages here. After you clean your sensor, they're still basically sterile. I mean, it's not like you're scraping a bunch of dirt off of your sensor. If you are, you're definitely treating your camera wrong. So they're essentially still sterile. So I use one that I've cleaned my sensor with after the methanol is actually dried out. What I'll do is I'll dip this in 70% or 90% rubbing alcohol. And then I will take a very, very clean cloth, cotton cloth, and then suck all the moisture out of it until it is very, very lightly damp. Obviously, you don't want to touch it. You don't want to transfer oils to this mirror. So now this is a sterile cleaning pad. This is a photosol cleaning pad. And what I'll do is, almost with no pressure, I'll actually run it along the mirror. And that will leave, since it was very slightly damp, a minor residue. I will take a second cleaning pad that is completely dry, nothing added to it, and then I will immediately, with the briefest pause possible, run it along the mirror again. And now it is completely spotless, as you can see. So, just remember, you have no idea how sensitive the coating is on that mirror. It's also a semi-transparent mirror. Okay? You shouldn't stick your finger in the camera like this either. I just wanted to show you something. It's semi-transparent to actually hit the secondary mirror behind it. You can see it right there. There we go. You see the secondary mirror pops down and it directs light into the autofocus uh, uh, sensor bay uh, below. You actually have your exposure meter up in the penaprism area, and the secondary mirror behind the primary is reflecting light into the autofocus sensor bay, which is in the bottom of the light box down here. That's why it's actually angled that way. So this is a dead camera. So you should never be sticking your finger in your camera like this. The only reason I'm doing is because this is a crummy old dead camera. But I thought I'd use this to demo how I actually clean my reflex mirrors. And I very rarely clean them. If they got a bunch of dust on them, who gives a damn? It doesn't affect the image anyway. But if you do this, you take this into your own hands. But this is how I clean the reflex mirror. Been doing it now for years and uh, it works perfectly fine. And you got to be careful, not apply too much pressure, and that's how it's done. That's why I always save these when I clean my sensors. I stick them back in the little baggies they came in, and I use those for cleaning reflex mirrors. Okay? A bunch of people wanted to know, and that's the answer. Bye.